Howdy folks, and welcome back to Stranger Things 3, not Season 3, Stranger Things 3, Episode 2. It is the Mall Rats. Alright, um, I, it's been actually a couple days since I saw Episode 1. I had to take a little break before I could continue. I'm going to be watching a whole bunch of these in a row, though, and release them to you guys as I can get them out. Um, so, is... Uh, the one who was the bad guy, the the, the lifeguard, that's, that's Billy, right? And, and it says here in the description, a rattled Billy has troubling visions. Um, so apparently he survived. <laughs> he wasn't killed. Um, but is he, quote unquote, possessed? We'll, uh, we'll see what, what happens there. So here we go. This is where Billy was sucked in. So it's all very quiet right now, which is kind of spooky. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> So it looks to us like he got away without anything happening to him, but I guess we're to take it something happened to him, right? Yeah. How can you explain to 911 what just happened to him? Oh, wow. He is having visions. He's flipping over to the other side. Who are all these people? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, he got the crap scared out of him. What's going on? <laughs> Has been... Yeah, not the way she wanted it. The so not the way she, she, uh, she, she, the she suggested it. Six long excruciating... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I no. A bit. Yeah, you improvised a lot. Getting to Mike. So why are the magnets stopping? To stop? They're all stopping. To work, to function. I mean, obviously it's going to be related to that thing, but I'm just curious why. If you guys have never had an Orange Julius, uh, mm. I grew up on those things in the malls. Hi. Hey, we didn't get to see enough of her by herself in the last episode. Shit. Hopefully Eleven doesn't have any uh, leftover animosity here. No, she doesn't. I dumped me five times. But oh, I okay. Huh? Have I despaired? It's not surprising that she's dumped you, dumped you but it is surprising that she's brought you back since you haven't changed. Every single. Time. Yeah, but then you. I'll show you. Do the stupid Come things on. again. Come on. Yeah, she's not as excited this time because she actually didn't go to meet up with him. I wonder why she even went to the pool. Sure thing, thanks. Oh, she wants to talk to... Okay. Really? She wants to do the adult thing. And basically tell him no. He is not all there. But I shouldn't have said that. Oh! Boy. Oh, okay. Whew. Please. For a second, I thought he actually did do that to her. I was, it was going through my head when, when it looked like he had potentially killed her. Now, how are they going to deal with that? So his co-worker at the ice cream shop is going to be a new character. Cool. Not just a, you know, a background character or just a, a one-liner here or there. Why are the rats eating fertilizer? And Did she trap one or a couple of them? <laughs> I caught one of the little bastards. Oh. Just don't do it. I guess the mayor could theoretically fire the police chief, so it kind of has to, I guess. What are they up to? Up the mall, of course. Hey, what's wrong? She shares a lot. <laughs> it's funny. The actor probably has never been to a mall either these days. They just don't really exist like this anymore. I think every big town has like one mall left, right? I know that our area where I live has one pretty big mall, but it's still slowly dying. Who is this? Do we know who this is? Ah, the teacher. That's right. Still pictures won't really do it much justice, right? Because it just looks like a rat. Oh, the good old days when there weren't such things as cell phones. Uh-oh. 
Did it just die? Oh, it did. It's or it's about to. One or the other. Oh, it's gonna explode, dude! Back away! Back away! Back away! Back away! Still gonna explode, isn't it? Yep, gonna go upstairs and it's gonna go boom. Here we go. And boom. <laughs> there it is. Ew. <laughs> Whoa, after they blow up, they actually are kind of alive? They're like inside out. Oh, weird. And cool. But mostly weird. Ah, what the heck is wrong with his arm? From the accident? From the crash? No, that's not from the crash. That's definitely not from the crash. Oh no, he's gonna kill his uh, co-worker. He is actually gonna kill somebody, right? Or is this not really her, his co-worker? Oh. I said, are you hurt? I'm gonna guess he killed her. So they're both at the mall, both groups. That's cool. They'll run into each other, of course. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Boy's worst nightmare. Burger King! And there's the orange Julius. I love these two together. <laughs> Let's just let the whole sh rest of the show them be just be best friends hanging out together. Stop lying. Just give it up. Just tell her the truth. Oh boy. He got dumped. <laughs> he should just be honest with her and say that Hopper told him, threatened him. Let's be honest. It may make Hopper mad at him, but at least she will understand. Not that they lived in a small town. How many small towns have... I mean, they all have nice restaurants. Most of them have nice restaurants. But how many have, like, an orchestra or a quartet? <laughs> They're still... They never closed up shop. They're still there way after hours. There's Russian spies here, apparently. Hmm. We're back at the string quartet. Oh, we're back. Gonna see that she didn't come over for dinner. Because she's with the teacher. Oh, yeah. The trailer showed this nasty guy with a, with a gun, right? Russian, I guess, now? And if he's connected to the spies, they were must, must have been like in the basement of the, of the restaurant. And the string quartet is what we heard playing on top when in their recording. Maybe. Okay, the idea yeah, he did something to this girl. Did he kill her? He's in the trunk, I bet. Yep. Is she dead? She's tied up. You wouldn't necessarily tie up someone you killed. I'm guessing she's not dead. Oh, she's she's being brought as a vessel. Some sort of sacrifice or a vessel to this thing. So she can't be dead. Yeah, she's she's gagged and bound, so she's not dead. A little piece of duct tape over the mouth is one of my pet peeves. It's it doesn't work. You can try it yourself if you want. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It is not a good gag. Just use one of the strongest muscles in your body, your tongue, and you can easily loosen it. Okay, it wouldn't seem that it would need to feed. So she's there for another purpose, you, you would think, because there's plenty of wild animals around that a thing could easily eat. So I don't think he brought her there f as food, especially not that she has to be alive. She, it's some sort of... In, he, he, the, the creature's going to infect her too, maybe, and they're like building an army or something. Yeah, I can't see that he's, he, he brought her there as, as like a sacrifice. Well, I mean, maybe a sacrifice, but... I mean, clearly it's a sacrifice, but what kind, you know, my point is, is it just for food? I don't think it's just for food. Okay, so the Russians. It looks like the Russian, there's a, some Russian spies, and that guy that we saw in the trailer with the gun, 
that Hopper ran into at the restaurant is probably um, one of them, uh, probably their their muscle, essentially. But they seem to be headquartered in the restaurant. Maybe they work in the restaurant. Maybe they work. Maybe they own the restaurant. But uh, they uh, that's where the music came from. And they're what they're transmitting is information about. Could they be spying on Eleven? And is that what they're talking about with the silver? Fo- was it silver fox they referred to? Is that going to be Eleven, or is that going to be the creature? Or do they know what's going on with that? Something tells me no. Something tells me it might be Eleven. That they were probably they've probably been there for many many years, following the research that the American team was doing. And thank you very much, people who in the comments reminded me that the American team was really just experimenting on the kids, and it was the work that the kids were doing that opened up the portal, um, you know, that exposed uh, the crack between dimensions that caused this whole thing on the American side to happen. And the, the Russians apparently had been spying on the Americans and had learned about this this dimensional crack thing, and that's what they were trying to reproduce in Russia uh, one year before this, this uh, Stranger Things 3 begins. Uh, so that all makes sense now. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, of course, I saw those <laughs> the first two Stranger Things, but, you know, my memory is not what it used to be. Never really was very good at, at remembering those kinds of details, but unless I rewatch things over and over and over and over again. So the Russians are there. They're spying. I'm betting they're spying on Eleven. Because she's still in town, and she is, she was somebody they would have been spying on to begin with, or or what they were doing to her would have been something they were spying on to begin with. Um, so they're going to get somehow tied up into this thing, especially since the portal opened in Russia a year ago. Um, they know all about the dimensions. They know all about the creatures, probably. So they're gonna. It's all going to come together. I just don't know how. Yeah, and so that the the Russian guy with the gun, too, in the trailer, he looked like he was going after somebody in the trailer. I uh, wonder who he's going to be going after. He wouldn't be going after Hopper because why would he care? Hopper's just the chief of police. He doesn't know anything that's going on. Um, he's not... The, the only people who know anything now are uh, some kids who work in the mall. And uh, and they, they, they don't even know for sure what's, you know where the threat is or, or who who's the Russian spies are. So, all right. Um, that just gets me more excited for episode three. I want to figure out how the Russians tie into this thing. I want to figure out if, uh, if they can crack the code and figure out what the Russians are talking about. I want to figure out what the creature is doing and what Billy, right? Um, I'm trying to remember all the names of all the characters. Billy. Yeah, Billy. It says right there. What Billy is doing by bringing that uh, coworker there, um, the woman. I don't know. We'll find out. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, in a few days, maybe, I'll post the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.